The good bourbon, eh? Please, have a seat. The stuff in here is older than you, Blue. Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time Don't for... interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? The universe is a big place. Anything could be out there. Wonderful. Most people's minds are too narrow to admit the possibilities of an infinite universe. But I'm not talking about flying saucers and little green men. I'm talking about the hidden history of our planet. The very origins of human civilization. Ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. That's really interesting. You're not buying this hooey. I'm glad to hear you say that. It's become my life's work. My approach is to combine a rigorous scientific method while keeping an absolutely open mind. So much has been closed off to us simply because people assumed they already knew the answers. My father excavated a city in the Rub al Khali in Arabia, which he dated to more than 4,000 years before the rise of any known human civilization. The structures and artifacts were strange, disturbing even, clearly not constructed for or by humans. I've spent my life trying to decipher what he uncovered. Jack, can I tell him what I need him to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending him to look for the missing shipment. Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this summer. Welcome to the fashion. Yep. Okay. You're officially hired. Congratulations. I'm ready to get to work. Good. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. You know the old insane asylum you shot up? There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? I hope you have more to go on than that. Don't worry. I don't expect you to do the impossible. Not on your first day. You should start at Parsons. We think. Check in with Maria. You all set? Yep. I'll see you soon with the package. Good luck. Don't get killed on your first job. is off limits. You'd best to move along. Edward Deegan sent me. I'm looking for a missing package. Oh, you're the new guy. So this package, pretty sure we know where it is. The guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery, just north of here. Who are these guys? Raiders? Sure, assholes with guns. Although it's weird that they're still hanging around so close. Excuse me. What do you want now? What is this place? If Edward wanted you to know, he'd have told you. Are we done here? So, who took the package? Raiders? Sure. Asshole. Kinda like they're stuck. What is this package, anyway? It's a metal case, holding vials of serum. What is it? I don't know and I don't care. They pay the bills, I just work here. Nothing else. Okay.
It's not acceptable. Imogene is missing, and I want her found. She's not missing, Mother. Do you know where she is? No. So did you find out what happened to the courier? Missing, I want her found. What else is Edward for if not to keep the family Some safe? Some raiders set up Mother. camp near Parsons and ambushed him. To do than I took care of them. Hmm. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? How dare you speak so disrespectfully about your sister? There was only this one vial left. Oh, good. I was afraid we wouldn't get any of it back. Here's your pay for the job. I'm throwing in a little bonus for bringing back the serum. That was good work. Now, as far as what's next... Oh, hell. I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not gonna be happy about it. Come on. Maybe the stuff in here is older than you, Blue. Don't even care. Hey. What you, hey, here. Something to keep sharp. Always worked for me. Oh, nothing. All right. To Imogene right now. I'm not Imogene's babysitter. If she chooses to go off without telling anyone, that's her business. Jack, I'll take care of it. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Imogene. Thank you. I can always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as dear Edward? <sighs> You shouldn't indulge her, Edward. It just makes her more impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, here's all we got back of the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got the rest of it, I'm sorry to say. Ah, oh, good. Finally. This will help settle Mother down. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. No problem. I'll bring her back. The trouble usually isn't finding her. It's persuading her to come home. I don't know where she's gone. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. Uh -huh. Somebody there must know something. Got it. Off to Good Neighbor then. I just can't bear to think what might have happened to poor Imogene. Hey, hold up there. First time in Good Neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. Unless it's keep dumb assholes away from me insurance. I'm not interested. Now don't be like that. I think you're gonna like what I have on offer. You hand over everything you got in them pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, 
bloody accident. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let him go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. You all right, brother? I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Yeah, I feel you. Good. You stay so long as you... Uh -huh. Hey, you. Looking for work? I haven't heard about any job. Well, now you have. If you don't mind a little manual labor, and don't ask too many questions, you're in. I'll give you 50 caps to start. Interested? You can do better than that. Fine. Take on. This is just a bad deal. Ah, uh, you're killing me. Still not good enough. Two hundred. And that's as high as I go. <laughs> Jeez. I gotta watch out for this one. I'm in. That's what I like to hear. Let's go inside. I'll give you the lowdown. We talk about Vault 81. Some problem there you were caught up in? Quarantine or some such thing? This is Radio Freedom, broadcasting all day, all across the Commonwealth. Hancock says all quiet across the Commonwealth. Welcome to the third there. rail. Go on in. What? Another one of you mercs looking for McCready? He's in the back room. I see you looking round. Hey there. God, I love the song. Excuse me. Whoa, now that is so hard. <clears throat> Check out Whoa. those hydraulics. Now that is some armor. Pull up a chair. Boy, we got beer. If you ain't buying beer, you ain't buying. Yo, do you know Imogene Cabot? Name rings a bell. Kind of balmy. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Magnolia! This guy wants a word! Excuse me, miss. Hmm? Now, what's the matter, handsome? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. I love the song. It was perfect. Real great set this evening, ma'am. Of songs, that is, I call. Is it warm in here? Oh, well, thank you. A girl tries her best. <laughs> now, there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. Ah, of course. It's those powerful muscles of yours. My. I could get used to looking at those. So what brings a man like you to my part of town? I came here for the music. <laughs> Flatterer, I think you and I are gonna get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? I was wondering if we could get to know each other better. Oh, really? Go on. walk under the streetlights. And then what? Music. Hmm. I knew you were something special, all right. Let me get my coat. Yeah. Let's get... 
get out of here. Let me get my coat. Hello again. Something I can do for you? I haven't been out on the town in too long. Thank you. I'm afraid my first love is always going to be the stage, though. I hope you understand. I just can't get too attached. I'll see Hey, Magnolia. I'm sorry. I have to go. Just past 10 PM. You take care. Nothing to report. Keep it tuned here for updates. Hey. Where to? Piper. You need something, let me know. Your thoughts? There's a story here. We'll find it. That was all I had. Sure. What? No. It can't. It... it, it it's you! From... Wait. Are you from vault -Tec? I am vault -Tec. Twenty years of loyal service. And now look at me. I wasn't on the list. For you. Look at you. Two hundred years, and you're still perfect! How's that possible? All quiet. Stay tuned for Minutemen alerts. The vault had these pods that froze us in place. I only thought out recently. What? vault never told me that. Unbelievable. Well, I had to get to the future the hard way. Living through the filth, the decay, and the bloodshed. Look at me. I'm a ghoul. A freak. I'm so sorry. I didn't know this would happen. You know, you're the only other person I met from before. I, uh, I... Oh, God. I've been so alone here. No Commonwealth settlement once a ghoul with 200 years of vault tech sales experience. Hey, you know, you could head back to Sanctuary. I'll come visit. I promise. Really? You... you will? Okay. I'll head over there right now. You... promise you'll come visit, right? I'll see you there. Before you even start, let's get to the point. Fred, are you going to hang out in the lobby? But I don't want anyone here to forget what matters. Our hey, Daisy. Dead. Glad Save you can make it. Rex How's my favorite girl doing? Deals, right? Didn't I see one of yeah, Not everyone else. Charlie serves the drinks. I deal with the drums. Gotta admit, Magnolia's got a hell of a voice. You're new around good neighbor. I'm not ah, sure. so what do you you're think back? Jinx in my pleasant company still available. Uh huh. Who's the singer? That is Magnolia. Now. Not today. Then stop crowding up my bar. Magnolia. You're looking for me. What can I do for you? Radio Freedom. Any chance I could steal you away for an evening? I don't think that would be a good idea. There's something else I can help you with? I wouldn't mind hearing a different song. The audience is always right. Paying customers only. I've got a few minutes to browse. Here's to drowning.
an earthquake was starting to roll. I felt my world shake out of control. Peace, brother. Can't say I'm surprised to find you in a dump like this, McCready. I was wondering how long it would take your bloodhounds to track me down, Winlock. It's been almost three months. Don't tell me you're getting rusty. Should we take this outside? It ain't like that. I'm just here to deliver a message. In case you forgot, I left the gunners for good. Yeah, I heard. But you're still taking jobs in the Commonwealth. That isn't going to work for us. I don't take orders from you. Not anymore. So why don't you take your girlfriend and walk out of here while you still can? What? Winlock, tell me we don't have to listen to this shit. Listen up, McCready. The only reason we haven't filled your body full of bullets is that we don't want a war with Good Neighbor. See, we respect other people's boundaries. We know how to play the game. It's something you never learned. Glad to have disappointed you. <laughs> you can play the tough guy all you want. But if we hear you're still operating inside gunner territory, all bets are off. You got that? You finished? Yeah. We're finished. Come on, Barnes. This is Radio Freedom, broadcasting all day, all across the Commonwealth. All's quiet across the Commonwealth. Stay safe out there. Beautiful little away, mate. No need to even ask. I always set aside a stash of defense. Look, pal, if you're preaching about the atom or looking for a friend, you've got the wrong guy. If you need a hired gun, then maybe we can talk. I'm interested. You're joking, right? It, used brother. to run with the gunners. For... Sounds like you can handle yourself. If you're worried about women, I agree. what about you? How do I know I won't end up with a bullet in my back? All I can give you is my word. And a bunch of caps. A bunch of caps, huh? Price is 250 caps. Got a deal. Now you're all right, Bob. Hey. Heading my way? Sure. Let's go. Will do. So, when are we going to have that one on one interview, Piper? Oh, McCready. <laughs> Never in a million years. Ah, I need a place to stay. Hey there. Something I can do for you, handsome? Do you know Imogene Cabot? Imogene? She's missing, and her family's worried about her. <laughs> well, I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. She seems like a body that could use looking after. Please, tell me what you know. There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones. Always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but Emma Jane, she latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam, would you come over here a minute? Is there a problem, Miss Magnolia? No, this fine gentleman here was just looking for Emma Jane. Do you happen to know where that preacher fella came from? Hmm. Brother Thomas? Yes, that's right. The one... 
Imogene was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, I kept one of them. Just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Mm, well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope Imogene's all right. I didn't much like Magnolia. You Looks again. Like got another freak, it's my just lucky won't day. Fit anywhere else. What do you need? Any chance I could steal you away for an evening? I don't think that would be a good idea. Is something else I can help you with? Nothing. I'll leave you to it. You should talk to Brother Tom about how to join up. <coughs> Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Step right this way. I'm looking for Imogene Cabot. Oh, I'm sorry, but Imogene is indisposed right now. She's not seeing visitors. I just need to make sure she's okay. You've got my word. She's fine. Uh huh. Not that it's any of your business, but. She's not seeing anybody until she cools off. I'm a friend of the family. Maybe I can talk some sense into her. Please, have a heart. I said she wasn't seeing anybody, including you. I'm going to see her, one way or another. Your choice. Whoa! You really want to head down this route? Wow. You went right to throwing your weight around. I thought we were friends. If you want to see her so bad, don't let me stand in your way. Here. Mm -hmm. All yours, neighbor. You must be Imogene. Don't tell me. Jack sent you. You're Jack's sister. I was expecting someone a bit younger. You really know how to flatter a lady, don't you? Just to be clear, I'm Jack's younger sister, the baby of the family. Once I get home and get some of Jack's serum, I'll be back to my usual stunning self. Jack has a serum that reverses aging? It's more like it halts aging. I started taking it when I was 32, so normally that's what I look like. You'll see once I get my treatment. I was well known as one of the bells of Boston society, back when there was any. What happens if you don't get more serum? Oh. I don't think we need to worry about that. I've gone without a treatment much longer before with no lasting effect. Yeah, whatever. Let's get going already. It wasn't my idea for you to come down here poking your nose into my business. Do you want to get out of here or not? Well... Yes. I've been waiting to see if Thomas would come to his senses. But since you've already gone to all this trouble, I may as well leave now. I was bored with Thomas anyway. He seemed so interesting at first. But after we got here, he turned out to be just another brute. 
He actually thought it could force me to join his absurd cult. I hope you don't need to say goodbye to your boyfriend. Thomas? He wasn't my boyfriend. We had some fun together, that's all. Besides, he shouldn't have locked me in here. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. I just need a drink first. <clears throat> you can tell Mother I'll be home soon. Oh my Edward. god, it's happening. Edward! Stuff in here is older than you, Edward, Luke. switch over to the Hartley modulator. Do you copy? Gee, now. How's this? Oh, 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 that's done it. Edward, what's going on there? We're under attack. They're inside the building. Inside? Can you keep them out of the basement? I'm trying, Jack. I I've never seen raiders that... Not now. Right there. Sorry. Things are a little busy around here right now. Listen, if they're inside the building, you have to go to the office and shut down the elevator. You can't risk them getting to Lorenzo. Got it. Office. Elevator. You better round up whoever you can and get them. Hello? Edward? Hey, I've got a question for you. There's no signal at all. Not What's now. happening, Jack? What's if going on? Are inside Parsons, right, Edward. If they free He's at Parsons, him. the old asylum. They're under attack by raiders. It's strange. The guards have held off raiders before without any trouble. I don't know what's gone wrong this time. I found Emma Jean. She's fine. Oh, yes. Good. At least one small comfort on this terrible day. You'll be wanting to be paid, of course. Ed, caps is what you use. Now, we really need to focus on the current emergency. How can you be so callous about your sister's safety? I wonder if these could be the same raiders that stole that. If some of them had used... Uh -huh. I assume you'll explain what you're talking about at some point. Ah, yes, of course. I'll explain on the way. Before we go, I need you to understand something. When we get to Parsons, you need to do exactly what I tell you. Nothing more, nothing less. Is that clear? Okay. Good. Make sure you have whatever you'll need for a serious battle. I'll wait for you outside. Don't worry, I'll handle it. I always knew it would end this way. I never should have allowed you to lock up Lorenzo in that place. Not even helping mother. And as I recall, you think this is your idea. Not mine. So what are you going to do? I said I'll handle it. I'm thinking. Certainly seen better days, hasn't it?
morning, Commonwealth. This is Radio Freedom, the voice of the Minutemen. Ready? Let's go. Nothing you should know what we're going to be dealing with. My father is confined in Parsons. For his own safety and everyone else's, he became dangerously unstable after handling an ancient artifact he found in Arabia. I've spent my life trying to figure out how to cure him. Excuse me. Just follow me. the artifact that's made Lorenzo so dangerous. I'm sure his psychosis would be cured if it could be removed. But so far, all my attempts have failed. It's fused too tightly with his nervous system. Family and I have lived for a very long time, thanks to the serum derived from my father's blood. I discovered the alterations to his blood in some of my earliest attempts to remove the artifact. I eventually isolated the anomalous compound and fled to the serum. I would gladly give it all up. Huh? You're mine now, rookie. This is Radio Freedom, the voice of the Minutemen. It's 7 a.m. Keep it tuned here for update.
We need to get to Parsons. Need to find out what's happening at Parsons. You're tuned to Radio Freedom, voice of the Minutemen. Nothing to report. Stay safe, people. In the waste, that's why. safe out there, people. This is Radio Freedom, broadcasting all day, Ooh. all across the Commonwealth. We need to get to Parsons.
tuned for Minutemen alerts. Just follow me. Almost there. Let's hope we're not too late. Edward's men seem to have given a good account of themselves. But not good well, enough. This to place is something. Alright. We need to get to my office. From there we can see how bad things really are. Stick close, follow, follow my orders, and I'm sure everything will be fine. Let's go. The door's blocked from the other side somehow. We'll have to find a way around. I can't believe this is gonna be worth it. Look at this place. It's nothing but dust and junk. Oh, it's gonna be worth Wait, it. Wait, listen. Huh? Did you hear that? Get your oh, oh, wasted! Oh, shit! Oh, lost him! This is of the Minutemen. Nothing to report.
How badly are you hurt? I'm not dead yet, but I don't think I can get up. You kept them from okay. using the elevator? I'll be all right. Yeah. I... I sent the elevator down to the basement like you wanted and shut it down. Good. Shot quite a few of them before they decided to leave me alone in here. Yeah. Haven't seen anybody for quite a while. I think it's yes. Keep track of time. Are you sure you can't get up? I could really use your help. Yeah, Jack. I'm pretty damn sure. Well, then don't worry about it. Me and your friend here will have to take care of things ourselves. They've definitely Hi. reached the basement. Although I don't understand how they just need how to, to get past it. Rest here a minute. Doesn't matter now. We'll have to go through the abandoned part of the building. It looks like the Abremelin field is still functioning. Although several of the security doors in the basement have already been breached. We better hurry if we want to stop them. But we seem determined to reach Lorenzo for some reason. Got it. Let's go. Just follow my instructions and everything will be fine. Be careful, Jack. Don't worry about me. You too. We never use this wing. Nobody's been in here for decades. There's no telling what we'll run into. What a mess. Let's hope we can find a way through. The utility elevator is on the bottom floor. The fuck Come is on. taking Leslie so long? This place is getting this place. I don't know, like he ever tells us huh? anything. Where's that the ah! Back. I was having fun! 